Hi guys, Andy here. Today we have the Nexus 6 on the left up against the Le TV Le 1S. Sounds French, doesn't it? But it's not, it's Chinese, Chinese import. It cost me £170 roughly, including you know everything shipped to London. The Nexus 6 these days can be had for about 250 I believe. Um, so Nexus 6 is obviously a year old phone. It was Google's flagship. Uh, now it's been succeeded obviously by the 6P. Uh, so the Le TV, the Le TV, sorry, it's a good sort of 70 or 80 pounds cheaper, but how will it compare? The Nexus 6 has Android 6.0.1, Snapdragon 805 chipset with a quad core 2.7 gigahertz Crate 450, and an Adreno 420 GPU with 3 gig of RAM. The Le TV device is running Android 5.0.2. The chipset is the MediaTek MT6795 with Helio X10, and the CPU is octa core 2.2 GHz Cortex A53. The GPU is a PowerVR G6200, and it also has 3 GB of RAM. So the specs, they look quite different. Obviously, there's nothing uh, duplicated apart from the size of the RAM. So let's go ahead and see how they get on. We're going to start things off with my usual Angry Birds 2 opening test. Try and press them both at the same time. The little TV device seems to be getting a head start. Um, so I use Angry Birds 2 because it is it takes a long time to open. Basically, there's no point in me doing it with uh, with, a, with an app that opens in a matter of seconds because you're not going to see any difference in the power between the two devices. So Angry Birds 2 does take a fair while, a fair bit of processing, reading and writing, mainly reading I assume. And we see the Le TV device, oh not much in it though, so the Le TV device sneaks in first, but uh, fairly close. I'll run it again, just adjust the brightness up a little bit, run it again, I won't make you watch the whole thing, you'll have to just trust me that it's the, it's the same sort of uh, bit of film, I've just chopped a little bit out, so... We scoot forward and the Le TV device, once again, is the first into the app, but not by much, so not a great deal between them there. We move on to the actual benchmark using Geekbench 3. We'll start them up and we'll see how these get on. So obviously the Nexus 6 only has four cores, the Le TV device has eight. I won't make you watch the whole thing, we'll skip ahead to see that the Nexus 6 result is coming in. 3089 on the multi-core. Now, it used to be I could tell which was going to score higher because it went through the test quicker. I don't know if it's because the Nexus 6 only has the four cores that it, uh, that it gets there in a, in a swifter time because I'll be reasonably sure the Le TV device is going to score higher, and it is, 5,200. Surprisingly, the Le TV has, has scored higher than my Note 5 on occasion. I'm, I think I've had like a 5,400, which my Note 5 has never been that high. So, quite impressive for a... Chinese import 170 pound device. We're going to head outside then for the GPS test. You can see both devices have a lock, both pretty accurate. I'm going to reset the GPS state and then try and come back out of the app as quick as I can. Then we're going to go back into the app. You can see it's re-downloaded the GPS assistance data. They're both on the same Wi-Fi. And the LTV device is connected, uh, is, is located. Now, I'm chopping out 50 seconds here, and finally the Nexus 6 locks in. Having said that, I never had a problem in using it uh, as a sat-nav device, but it does seem to take a long time to actually lock onto GPS. Back indoors for the speaker test. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me what to say. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. Nexus 6 sounding good, but actually the little TV is dividing the sound pretty loud. Well, 
So I'm not sure how that comes across to you through the camera, but actually the Little TV is, is pretty loud. It doesn't sound as good as the Nexus 6. And we'll move on to voice. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws. And now we're in the situation where a lot of the rules and laws. And now we're in the situation where people. So a valid effort by the Lativi Lert One S against one of the best pairs of speakers you're going to find on a mobile device, the Nexus Six. But the Nexus Six is victorious on the speaker test. Now to one of my newer tests. I've got myself a light meter. You can see here under my lights it's uh, reading 1200 lux and if I put it face down just to show that it, the lights don't affect it, it was down to like two lux I think there. So I turn off auto brightness and I crank up the device screen and brightness. I then open up just a, a plain white sheet and we measure the brightness. So the next is six, four, eight, five. Took so then the Le TV, five sixty, five sixty four. Now I've been through frame by frame, and I've seen that the Nexus does touch on 489 and the LED TV does touch on 589. As I watch it now, regular speed, I didn't see that happening, <laughs> but I have been through kind of, not frame by frame, but very slow looking for the, the peaks and troughs. So the LED TV does very well with uh, with the screen brightness. We move on to the Chrome browser test. I've reset both, uh, both caches and everything on the devices, and we're going to start off with the BBC website. For some reason, the Nexus 6 doesn't, doesn't pick it up unless I type it all in, but there we go, we're ready to go now, and we try and touch them at the same time. The Nexus 6 clearly in there quicker. They are both on the same Wi-Fi network, so network speed should be a minimal factor, and it's more down to the device and what it does with that network speed. So let's move on to NFL.com for the second test, and again, touching at the same time. Ooh. So the Le TV device sneaking through, very little between them, but uh, the Le TV device did did load things quicker. So one all, although the Nexus Six was uh, a bit more dominant in its in the first one than the Le TV was in the second one. So the final page we're going to theverge.com. We're looking to oh, the Le TV. So I think we give that to the Lativi. I think it loaded in quicker. I mean, the massive big gap for the bigger advert on the Nexus 6 came in quicker, but pretty much everything else came in quicker on the uh, Lativi device. Both relatively smooth once the page is fully loaded in and both looking good. So there we go. The Nexus 6 um, at around the price point of about £250 and the Lativi Le One S at about £170 all in. Compared head to head, I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, in the comments down below. So please let me know what you think. Otherwise, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.